What's going on guys, it is Pangino here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate FPS increase guide for Rogue Company. This video is going to be helping you guys achieve the very best gameplay experience, boosting your overall FPS drastically, lowering input lag, whilst maintaining a great visual fidelity. Regardless of your system specs, whether you're running on an ultra old, low end laptop, all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming hardware, you should be seeing some drastic improvements from following along with this guide. And speaking of improvements, please leave your results, questions, queries or suggestions for other content you'd like to see come to the channel in that comment section down below as it's always fantastic to hear from you guys. And if if you guys did like this video please do remember to leave a like on the video as it helps me out tremendously and if you guys do enjoy my content please do consider pressing that subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of when a video goes live on my channel. Before we jump in with the optimizations it's first of all recommended to set up a quick system restore point you can try out all of the optimizations in this video knowing that at any point you can revert everything back that you're about to change with a few clicks of a button. This allows you to go ahead try out these optimizations see how they perform in your PC and if you want to revert everything back to see how it was beforehand you can do so very easily. Navigate to the bottom left hand side click on the windows button Button, type in system space restore just like so then click on create a restore point once inside of this tab scroll down to your local disk c drive highlight the c drive go down to configure with inside of it make sure that turn on system protection is enabled here at the top then come down to maximum usage drag this bar to about five percent press apply press ok highlight the drive once again so local disk c drive then go down to create simply then name the system restore point something you can remember so we'll just call this rogue backup just like so then go ahead and press create and after a few short moments the system restore point will be created and we can follow along with this guide knowing that at any point if we mess anything up or we don't want to keep the optimizations you can revert them back simply and easily. To make this guide very easy to follow along with and to ensure that you guys get the very best results I've compiled an FPS increase pack in which can be downloaded using the links in the description down below. Try out the first download link if you run into any issues or the file isn't downloading. Try out the second download link, download the file, put it onto your desktop. You'll then be given the rogue FPS pack by Panj. To open up this file it's very simple and easy to do. Right click on the file then choose the option for extract here. If you do not have the option for extract here you'll need to go over to Google, either Google WinRAR or 7-zip, download one of those programs, come back over to the file, right click and you'll then have the option to extract here. Once you guys have done that you'll then be given a folder on your desktop with an identical name and this folder contains all of the optimizations, optimized configs and everything you're going to be needing to follow along with this video to ensure that you get the best results. So to kick things off with the optimizations, first of all what we're going to be doing is actually applying a quick optimization or tweak to the game application itself. For this we need to navigate inside of the game installation directory. The easiest way to do this for everyone watching this video regardless of where you've installed Rogue 2 is to simply boot into the game. Once you guys have booted inside of the game simply then go ahead and press alt and tab on your keyboard to minimize out of the game whilst the game is running then come down to your task bar right click then open up task manager then with inside of here go over to where it says cpu and you should then be able to see the rogue company application running with inside of here go ahead and right click on the application then go down to open file location we can then go ahead and minimize out of task manager and close out of the game whilst inside of here go to the navigation bar at the top and go back to the folder which is titled rogue company head over to the rogue company application found here right click go down to properties with inside of here, go to the compatibility tab, ensure that disable full screen optimizations has been checked with inside of here, then click on change our DPI, override the high DPI scaling behavior found here at the bottom, press OK, apply and OK. We then need to repeat that application fix for the application with inside of this folder. Go inside of the rogue company folder with inside of here, go inside of binaries, win64, so again right click, properties, compatibility, disable full screen, change our DPI, override, apply, OK and OK. Once you guys are done with inside of there, we can then go ahead and actually exit out of that folder. For another fantastic optimization to apply to the game itself to lower your overall input latency and push more resources on Windows towards the game to help it run smoother, never get inside of the FPS pack provided by double clicking, go inside of the optimizations folder, then go inside of the rogue process folder. Clicking on one of these keys will set the priority with inside of Windows every single time the game is booted automatically. By default, normal priority is selected, but for most people watching this video, we're gonna be going ahead and double clicking on high priority. Simply double click on the key, select yes, yes, and then press okay and optimize has now been applied. We can then go ahead and set up our custom launch options to lower overall input latency and boost FPS. To do this, navigate inside of the FPS pack once again, then go inside of the launch options text document found with inside of here. Before we install these launch options, we need to customize one option with inside of here and tailor it towards your system specs. To find out which number you need to set with inside of where it says 8 or X, go down to the bottom, go to your task bar, Right click, open up task manager once again, go to the performance tab, then with inside of it go to CPU. Once you guys have clicked on CPU, go to the bottom right hand side, look for its titled logical processors, and as you can see, I have 16. Your number is more than likely going to be different to mine. Whichever your number of logical processors is, is what you're gonna be setting to the dash preferred process account found with inside of here. Once you guys have got that set up, then go ahead all the way from the right hand side to the left, 
copy all of those launch options, select copy, save those launch options, exit out of Task Manager, then go down to the Epic Games Launcher. With inside of here, navigate to the bottom left hand side to the settings cog, scroll all the way down once again, go over to Rogue Company, check the box for additional command line arguments, then go ahead and right click inside of this blank space and press paste. Once you guys have done that, click the drop down menu once again and we're then good to go. Following on from there, we're now going to be installing our customized optimized config files. Before doing this, it's incredibly important if you wish to keep any of your current key bindings or your mouse sensitivity options to boot into the game, note them down on a piece of paper as this will reset those options. Right, so now that we're going to be installing our customized optimized config, go inside of the FPS increase pack provided by double clicking, go inside of the config folder and you'll be met with three to four folders. The important thing to do with inside of here is to click on the folder which corresponds to which sort of optimizations you want to go with the game. And for the overall recommended config, which is a fantastic balance between FPS optimizations, lower input latency and visuals, go with recommended. So go ahead and select the config folder you wish to go with. I'm going to be going with recommended. Now to install these files, it's very simple and easy to do. First of all, what we're going to be doing is simply dragging this folder over to the right hand side to get it out of the way. We then need to go to the bottom left hand side, click on the windows button, then type in percent app data percent and press enter. With inside of here, what you simply then need to go ahead and do is go up to the directory found up here at the top, click where it says app data, then go inside of the local folder, scroll down to the R section and you should then be able to see the rogue company folder. Double click on the folder, go inside of saved, go inside of the config folder, Windows no editor, we've now found our config installation directory. Simply navigate over to the right hand side to the optimized config files, then drag them into your game directory files found with inside of here, click on replace, we've now successfully installed our optimized game configs. We can then go ahead and exit out of both of those folders. To start off with inside of here, navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the windows button, type in game space mode, click on where it says game mode settings. And first of all, you want to turn Windows game mode on. On the latest versions of Windows 10 for around about the last year or so, game mode is highly recommended to have on the on position. Then go down to the Windows game bar. With inside of here, ensure that record game clips, screenshots and broadcast using game bar is switched to the off position as this is an inferior way of recording and streaming from your PC and hogs resources. Once you guys are done with inside of there, X out. And to follow up with those optimizations, navigate inside of the FPS increase pack provided once again, this time going inside of the optimizations folder, then navigating down to the reg optimization fixes folder. With inside of here, you're going to be met with a bunch of registry optimizations slash fixes or tweaks in which we can apply very simply and easily to Windows. To enable these optimizations, simply go ahead and double click, starting off with disable DVR1. So double click, select yes, yes, apply and okay. DVR2, yes, yes, okay. Full screen fix, yes, apply and okay. Game optimizations once again, and you'll then be left with the low to medium end and the medium to high end optimization. You're going to be clicking on the file which best matches the system specs you're going to be applying these optimizations on. So for me, I'm running on a high end gaming PC to record this video, so I'm going to be going with the medium to high end optimization. And once again, apply that optimization, press yes, yes and OK, and we're then good to go. I simply applied a few tweaks to the Windows registry itself to further push gaming applications at a higher priority, giving them more resources and a higher priority with inside of Windows to reduce overall input latency and improve FPS. For these optimizations, it's very simple and easy to do, and it's highly recommended for every single person watching to apply them. For these optimizations, navigate inside of the FPS increase pack provided. Once inside of the FPS increase pack, go inside of the optimizations folder, and this time going inside of GPU settings. Once again, click on the folder which corresponds to the graphics card you have installed. So for me, I have an NVIDIA GeForce card, and you'll be met with a plethora of screenshots with inside of here. So simply click on the first screenshot, follow along with them, they're very clear and easy to follow along with, and for the sake of keeping this video as condensed and as informative as possible, follow along with those in your own time. But make sure that you do, as you can see fantastic results from doing so. We can then close out of the GPU optimizations by ensuring that the Windows GPU optimizations are set as well. These are very simple and easy to do and work regardless of your graphics card manufacturer. For these, navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, type in GPU space settings, click on the graphics settings tab. With inside of here, what we're going to go ahead and do is at the top, if you do have this option available for your system, make sure that you do turn on the GPU hardware accelerated option found here at the top. Click the flicker switch to the on position. It will then require you to restart your system again, but don't panic. We can restart our system before booting into the game finally at the end of the video. We're then going to be applying an optimization for everyone watching this video. Never get down to the button which says browse down here on the bottom left hand side. Click on browse. What we're then going to go ahead and do is go up to the navigation bar at the top here, double click, remove this entire navigation, and we're then going to paste in the navigation in which we got earlier on from our game installation directory. Once that's in there, go ahead and press enter. This will then bring you inside of the Rogue Company installation directory once again. Go ahead and select the Rogue Company EXE or application, then press add. Go to the bottom left side with inside of here, go to the options menu and set this to high performance. Once that's then been set, go ahead and press save and exit out. We can then start to finalize the optimizations with inside of this video by applying one of the most important, if not the most important optimization with inside of this entire guide. 
wide. For this optimization, what we're simply going to be doing is navigating to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the Windows button and typing in power space plan. With inside of here, go ahead and click on the edit power plan option. Once inside of the power plan settings, go up to the top left hand side to where it says power options. With inside of here, go down to the show additional power plans, scroll all the way down and we're going to be looking for the ultimate performance power plan with inside of here. And you more than likely aren't going to be seeing this power plan with inside of here. The reason for this is the ultimate performance power plan is actually a secret performance power plan in which you can enable with inside of any Windows 10 PC. It's very simple and easy to unlock this power plan. Simply minimize the power options tab as we're going to be revisiting that in a few moments time. Then go inside of the FPS increase pack provided, then go down to the command text document with inside of here, double click. With inside of the text document, go all the way from the right hand side to the left, copy this entire command by copying just like so, exiting out, then navigating down to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the Windows key, then typing in CMD, then going ahead to the command prompt and ensure that you run this as an administrator by right clicking, selecting run as admin, then go ahead and press yes. Once inside of the CMD, then go ahead and press control and V on your keyboard to paste that command and then go ahead and press enter. You'll then be met with the power scheme GUID ultimate performance power plan, just like so. Exit out of the CMD, navigate down to the control panel power options tab we minimized earlier. Once inside of it, go up to the top, click on the refresh button, then scroll all the way down and you should then be seeing the ultimate performance power plan with inside of here. To select the power plan and ensure that it's running, it's very simple and easy to do. Go to the circle next to it, click on the circle, it'll then be selected and you're then good to go. This now leads us on to a very quick optimization which comes in the form of system maintenance. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows key once again, type in percent %temp% percent, just like so and go ahead and press enter. You'll then be met with the Windows temp folder. This is basically the ultimate Windows dump for all of the programs with inside of your PC where it dumps all excess data. Windows does not defaultly remove any of the files inside of this location, so depending on the age of your Windows installation, this folder on your C drive can sometimes be taking up around about 80 plus gigabytes in some rare scenarios. So what we're simply going to be doing with inside of here is highlighting all of the files and folders with inside of here all the way from the top to the bottom, right clicking and selecting the option to delete. You'll then be met with this prompt, click do this for all current items, then hit skip. Once that's been completed, you're more than likely going to be left with a few remaining folders and files and that's absolutely fine as those remaining folders and files were the only ones that Windows was actually using. Again, repeat that step around about once every month or so to stay on top of your system maintenance and keep your C drive cleaner. We can then apply a very quick optimization for anyone that uses Discord, even if you're not using the program to talk to people whilst you're inside of the game. If the program is open on your PC, when you're playing games you should be applying this optimization regardless of your system specs. For this optimization, navigate with inside of Discord, navigate to the bottom left hand side to your user settings cog, click on user settings. We can first of all start off with going over to Discord overlay. Ensure that Discord overlay is actually turned off as this can cause drastic FPS drops. Once done with inside of there, go down to the appearance tab in the bottom left hand side, then scroll all the way down to the bottom with inside of the appearance tab, go over to the option for hardware acceleration and ensure that this is switched to the off position. If it's not, click on the flicker switch, turn it off, press OK, Discord will then be disabling hardware acceleration. This stops Discord from being able to use excess resources from your CPU, RAM and GPU to further accelerate Discord, soaking up resources from your games. This finally leads us to the last final and most important optimization with inside of this entire video. Before applying this optimization, assuming we're going to be booting into the game after applying it, it's best to simply navigate to the bottom right hand side, click on the icon tray and exit out of any programs you no longer need running whilst you're playing the game. For me personally, I actually close out of my antivirus whilst I'm playing games as well, as I don't do any web browsing in the background or download any files whilst I'm playing games, so I like to turn that off. Do proceed with caution if you wish to do that yourselves and that is at your own risk. Once you're done with inside of there, we can then go inside of the FPS increase pack once again, then go inside of the optimizations folder and you'll then be worked with the ISLC folder with inside of here. Drag this folder onto your desktop. We can then go inside of the folder just like so by double clicking and you'll then be met with the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner or ISLC. This is a simple two-in-one optimization program. The first stage of the program allows you to keep a reserved pool of RAM in the background, freeing up resources and ensuring that you don't run into any throttling issues. The second part of the program comes in the form of Timer Resolution which is a program I've recommended for years. Using this application actually helps you lower the time with inside of Windows which will reduce overall input latency between the game application, hardware you have installed and the Windows 10 operating system. So to set the program up simply double click on the application just like so. To find the program, go to the bottom right hand side once again, click on the task icon tray, then find the green monitor like this, double click on the green monitor and the program will then be opened. First of all, with inside of it, go to the bottom right hand side, click on stop. We then need to set up this program tailored towards our system specs. So for the first box with inside of it, set this to 1024. For the second box, this value needs to be set to roughly half of your overall system memory. You can see your overall system memory found up here in the top. So whichever this number at the top says, roughly half this number. So for me, that's going to be 16,000. Go over to the right hand side, ensure that enable custom time resolution is checked, go over to the right hand side, set this to 0.49, then use the delete key to remove the values off the end of that, then go ahead and press start, 
Then go up to the top with inside of here, click on Purge Standby List. And last but not least, we can go down to the ISLC polling rate in the bottom right hand side. Click on the drop down menu, set this to 500 for good PCs and lower end PCs to medium end PCs, set this to 1000. So leave that running in the background. I'm going to be giving you guys a very quick optimization for you guys running on the laptop. To do this, it's recommended to have a HDMI plugged into the laptop or whichever display out you have available in the laptop, have it plugged into an external monitor. Then what you'll simply do is follow the on screen directions found here to disable the laptop screen. So the laptop screen is completely blacked out and the laptop is then completely displayed on a second monitor. Monitor. You will find that you will be getting better FPS using this step on almost every single laptop out there. And finally, we can now go ahead and boot into Rogue Company. Once you guys have booted into the game, the only thing left to do is to actually finalize our in-game settings and input any sensitivities and keybinds which you backed up earlier on. So to do this, navigate to the top right hand side, click on the three arrows, then with the side of it, go to settings. First of all, we can start off with screen mode. Make sure this is set to full screen mode for everyone. Then going down to resolution. If at the end of this video, you still aren't happy with the FPS you're getting or you want further gains, it's recommended to actually go with a lower resolution than your monitor's native. These things should be kept off for everyone, motion blur should be disabled, and for the most part, the rest of the in-game settings should be set according to the config in which you installed earlier on, so there shouldn't be any need to tweak around in-game settings as they should be set as per the config you installed earlier. If you're not happy with your FPS or how the config looks, do feel free to come back with inside of the game settings and bump some of these options up or down depending on which you wish to go for, and fine-tune the game as you wish. Once you guys are done with it inside of there, make sure that you do go to the bottom left hand side, apply those settings, and we're then good to go. And there you guys have it. That is the Rogue Company Ultimate FPS Increase Guide. If you guys are happy with the results, please do leave a like in the video as it helps me out tremendously. And leave your results, questions, queries, and suggestions for other content you'd like to see come to the channel in that comment section down below, as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys and get a discussion going on down there. Alongside this, if you guys have enjoyed this video and wish to stay up to date with my content, please do consider pressing the subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly of whenever a video goes live on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, I've been Pangino, and I'll see you guys in the next one.